What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the retrograde right here on Dead Jester Cinema. And on this episode, we are going to look at the 1993 film Leprechaun. Now it has been a very long time since I've seen this movie. I think probably the last time I saw it, I was maybe 10 years old. So we're looking at almost 30 years. So I don't remember too much about it except for couple little funny parts here and there that made me laugh a little bit but I'm eager to dive back into this movie with a fresh perspective now as an adult so without further ado let's jump in to Leprechaun. Leprechaun is the story of Warwick the Leprechaun, who has his gold stolen by this old codger, and when he shows up to reclaim it, old dude here nails him up in a box for some reason instead of just killing him? I mean, I don't know. But anyways, ten years later, the gold is rediscovered by this motley crew of Rachel Green, not Kevin Bacon, not the other guy from Tremors, and the dude who stole Pee-wee's bike, and this little punk-ass brat. And, along the way, they also accidentally set the Leprechaun free from his balsa wood prison. And after numerous attempts to try to kill him... I got a shotgun, 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 shotgun. I got a shotgun. I shot it. I put six rounds into that thing. I shot him six times! The little green menace is unrelenting to reclaim his lost gold because... He loves gold? I love gold! So I will say that this movie is fun, but not in an intentional way. It's more like in a corny way and laughing at how bad it is kind of way. Now obviously a film like this, I'm not expecting Alfred Hitchcock, so I can usually roll with the absurdity of it all, but I can't lie, and I gotta be truthful here, that it's just a poor film across the board. It's poorly conceived, poorly written, poorly directed, and sans Warwick Davis mostly, it's poorly acted. It's a horror comedy that tries too hard to be funny, and most of the jokes just fall flat. But you know, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Maybe, you know, I gotta be in the right headspace and mood to watch a movie like this and appreciate it for however quirky and absurd it is, but let's try to break this movie down and that starts with the story and plot. There just isn't much going on to keep me invested. The pacing is agonizingly slow and the central conflict with the leprechaun just wanting his gold back is, well, pretty weak. And on top of that, the way it's executed doesn't lead to any tension or real stakes. Now the plot is fairly simple. I felt like a movie like this, it probably could have been wrapped up in like 30 minutes. But for feature length, they gotta try to drag this thing out. But in doing so, I feel like this movie was missing a little bit of something to add into that plot. And I think a proper backstory or legend surrounding the Leprechaun itself and its gold would have helped set up the plot and the rules and given this film a proper pacing and tension to build towards a climax. And yes, even in a comedy, you do need some sort of story. You do need some sort of conflict and characters or else why do I give a shit? But this thing just plods along with contrivance after contrivance after contrivance and that falls squarely on the shoulders of its writer and director Mark Jones. And I'm not gonna mince any words here. His direction is shit. Everything from the lighting, the staging, the blocking, it's all shit. It reminds me of a full moon movie, but with less charm. Now I get that the movie was made relatively cheaply, but that's still no excuse to make this thing look like it was half-assed. Which now brings me to the characters, who are all pretty crap. Now I don't think that's an indictment on the actors here because I've seen them in other films beyond this and, you know, they're all pretty good for the most part. I think this all, once again, is an indictment on the creative decisions of this film's maker. There is just nothing there for them to work with and plus the writing forces them to make the stupidest decisions because it's what the story needs. Like this old lady falling for this child's voice coming out of a trunk. 
and then getting herself killed by tumbling her ass backwards down the steps. And then there's this old man who knows that a four-leaf clover can kill- Wait, 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 hold on, hold on a second, hold on. Can, can we see that old lady kill again? I need to see it again. One more time. No, no, serious. I gotta see it one more time. Okay, okay, okay. But in all seriousness, where in the hell does that basement door come from? I mean, she was just standing in the living room and all of a sudden it just pops up right behind her. Oh, <laughs> good God almighty. <sighs> one more time. <laughs> it, just, it never gets old. Anyway, getting back to characters making stupid decisions. This old fart knows that somehow a four-leaf clover can kill the leprechaun, so instead of killing him when he has the chance, he's gonna nail him inside a box and then try to light it on fire with the clover on top? Why? I... I don't... I don't know. And then there's these very intelligent people who are trying to escape the farm in their truck when the leprechaun attacks! Oh no! So now that that truck's disabled, they run back inside trying to figure out what to do next. Completely forgetting that they have another perfectly good vehicle they could have escaped in right outside. Just stupid, 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 stupid characters. And yeah, they don't remember that the vehicle is out there until like 20 minutes later when Rachel needs to go find that old fart bag from the beginning of the movie to tell her how to kill the leprechaun. This whole little bit with her going to track down this guy felt so tacked on and so unnecessary and only there because they needed this little explanation on how to kill the leprechaun and they couldn't have possibly have achieved this in any better way with a uh, better proper build up in the beginning. No, no. Um, mm, mm, just frust frustrating. Frustrating! Little girls shouldn't look for four leaf clovers. <sighs> okay. This is Leprechaun we are talking about. And I guess the one positive I can point to is Warwick Davis. He is unquestionably the star of the show here. He really just hands it up in every scene that he's in and i think if there is a sole reason to watch this movie it is because of him but i did have one complaint it is that i think they push the humor and the silliness a little bit too far it's just so over the top zany that it reminds me of freddy's dead where every little thing needs to be a pun or a joke and not all of it sticks plus he's not a physical or even a magical threat at all to our main characters as he is constantly getting the shit kicked out of him like i always say with movies like this with horror movies the real strength of it lies with your villain and if your villain is not taken seriously or not any way a threat to the main characters then it's hard for me to actually care and here because of that this movie just feels like 90 minutes of bad acting and warwick davis shithousery now before i get to my final grade of leprechaun let me tell you what i think is the best part of the movie and the worst part Starting with the best here, it's gotta be Warwick Davis. Even if the silliness is pushed too far, he still gives a hell of a performance and is the only real reason this film is worth watching at all. And the worst part, it is hard to point to any one specific thing because there is a lot that's bad, but if I had to narrow it down to one scene, I gotta go with that old fart O'Grady not killing the leprechaun when he had the chance at the very beginning, and then instead trying to burn him when he knows it won't kill him, and not only trying to burn him, but he's also going to destroy the one thing that can kill the leprechaun. It's just a stupid, illogical scene that sets up the rest of the nonsense in this movie. But the total combined score for the movie is a 68.75%, which means that Leprechaun limps away from this retrograde with just a D+. 
sliding in here is my grading breakdown. The direction gets a D. It's not piss poor bad, but it's almost there. Characters are C minus. They're all pretty worthless. And the only reason why this does get a C minus is solely on the charisma of Warwick Davis. Story is a D. There's just not enough there. And there's just a lot of illogical nonsense that goes on that I just can't get into. And the music gets a C. It's the highest grade here. I like a lot of what Kevin Kiner does. And the music here is good, but I've heard him do better. But that was my look into Leprechaun. I know there's a lot of fans of this movie on this channel, and I am sorry if I've offended any of you with my take on this, but I gotta call it like I see it, and it's just not a good movie. Now, that doesn't mean that you still kind of can't have fun with it, you know, on a cheesy movie level where you can kind of just laugh at how absurd and how bad it is, but as an actual film itself, it is just not that good. You know, I've seen worse. But anyways, what are your thoughts on Leprechaun? If you do like it, if you don't like it, if you agree or disagree with my grades, if you think I'm full of shit, please post your comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Adios. Now, GTFO. Fuck you, Lucky Charms.